Hello, today I'm going to show you how to use the with tool. First open a new document. The with tool works only on paths, so let's get rid of the fill and change the stroke to a different color. Now we will need some kind of path. Press the letter P for the pen tool and draw a line. To see it clear, I'm going to increase the stroke weight to a fairly large number. Now press the Shift and W keys on your keyboard for the width tool or select it from the toolbar panel. If you look carefully, your mouse cursor should change to an arrow with a curvy line next to it. Now we are ready to use the width tool. When we move closer to the stroke, notice that the cursor changed to an arrow with the plus sign and the grey rectangle with the information of the stroke appeared. If I single click to add an anchor point, nothing will happen. To add an anchor point, we need to click, hold and drag. Click and drag towards the center line to decrease the width and away from the center line to increase the width. Let's add a few more anchor points. Click, hold and drag. And again. If you wish to remove any of the existing anchor points, first make sure the anchor point is selected and then press the delete key on your keyboard. We can also copy an anchor point with the same width values. To do that, click on the existing anchor point, hold and drag. While you are dragging your mouse, press the alt key as well. When we click on the existing anchor point and drag the mouse, but this time hold down the control key, we will push all the other anchor points to the edge of this path. We can also distort the width asymmetrically by holding down the alt key as we drag one of the nuts. And again, select another anchor point, then click on the left nut, hold and drag. Let's undo the last two steps. Select this anchor point, move it down and decrease the width. Delete this anchor point and we can grab the nuts that appear on the outer edges too, which makes it easier to create tapers at the end of a stroke. Let's undo it and make a few more adjustments. Next I will show you how we can save a customized width profile for future use. Let's create another stroke, increase the weight, choose a different color and change its profile. When you are done, press the letter V to select it. Now go to the variable width profile window on top and open the pull down menu. Then click on the Add to Profiles icon from the bottom. If you like, you can give it a name. Now we can delete it. Open the Variable with Profile window one more time and we can see the new with profile we've just created. Next, we'll use our new profile to create something like this, for example. First, let's add some guides. If your ruler is not showing, press the Ctrl and R buttons on your keyboard. Then click on this corner, hold and drag. While you are dragging your mouse, press the Ctrl key as well. Now release the mouse and then release the key. Now let's draw a circle. Click on this intersection, hold and drag. While you are dragging your mouse, press down the Shift and Alt keys as well. Next, press the C button on your keyboard for the scissors tool or select it from the toolbar panel. It is hidden under the eraser tool. Click on this path to make a first cut and click on this anchor point to make a second cut. Now press the letter V for the selection tool and select this part of the circle. Then press the delete key on your keyboard. Select the remaining segment Open the variable with profile window and choose the custom profile we've created before. Now increase the stroke weight and if you like, select the width tool one more time and make any final adjustments. 
In the next few steps, we will add a gradient to it. Open the gradient window, click on the stroke, hold and drag it to the gradient slider. Change the type to radial and choose apply gradient across stroke. And of course, you can experiment with different colors and see what you like. Let's undo it. Next, we'll make two extra copies and rotate them around the circle. Select this stroke and then press the letter R for the Rotate tool. Now, holding down the ALT key, click on this intersection to set the rotation point. Type 120 for the angle and click Copy. And press the CTRL and D keys on your keyboard to make one more copy. Now you can play with the gradient to add different colors. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.